This is the perfect minimalist travel camera bag setup for cheating airlines at their own game. We're talking optimization, space consumption, the bare necessities. Most minimal, super minimal, minimal, minimal. This is absolutely not how we set up this bag to actually like go shooting when we arrive at the destination. Our trick is to unload this probably into the safe at the hotel or some sort of safe space and then reconfigure once we've, once we've arrived. Yeah, you don't want to be carrying this bad boy around to shoot and you'll never find your camera, honestly. Just wait till you see what's inside. This is going to be about fitting the maximum amount of minimalist gear in a small, handy space. Our B camera's also here. Hello! You know you get the little cabin roll on and then you get a small little personal bag. This has been the small personal bag. This is the one that fits under the seat in front of you. Fits under the seat in front of you. <laughs> but does it even actually fit within the size? That's a no. We have never been asked to weigh this, to measure this, to put it in the little little holder thing. It just looks small. So innocent. So airlines least expect them to be weighty. Let's weigh the swapper. A stunning 13.1. Okay, so we're gonna start with the camera bag. This is the Brevity camera backpack. This is actually our second one, and we have used that literally on every single trip for the last three years. This is the small one, and this is the large one. You can chuck them in the washing machine. It looks brand new, and I'm not kidding you. It's such a small form factor, and you can just fit so much shit in there. We're also gonna give you a few special ops pieces that we don't take on every single trip, but come in use in certain situations, but they're still within that like travel minimalist vibe. And the second thing is the Peak Design Capture Clip. I hate carrying things. Like I have an absolute extreme phobia of holding things in my hands. Just walking around camera here, really good. And thirdly, this bad boy, this has actually been an insane invention by me. For example, we've once before had our headphones in a little pouch that then clips on here. Or- Water bottles. A water bottle. So that is just so handy for adding something extra that again, you don't have to hold. Feet Design Travel Tripod, I'm sure you know about this one. It's amazing. Yes, it's expensive, but we got the cheaper of the two options. So it is a little bit heavier. Um, but we did not want to drop that extra dollar on the carbon one. In here, this is what I would like to be most accessible when at the airport and um, on the plane. Straight up in there, we've got a Kindle, a 16 inch MacBook. Um, actually, we travel more with the 13 inch M1 MacBook, but uh, I just wanted to show you that this actually does fit in there. And thirdly, an iPad. This is the stuff that you want most accessible on the plane because basically what we're doing up here and inside the actual camera bag, we don't want to have to mess that arrangement up because this is a game of Tetris, people. Front compartment. We have a new addition to the lineup and that is the productivity sheet. Um, this is makes us productive even on the days where we are away, which is actually a really hard thing to do when you find yourself traveling as a creator. We've got the Xiaomi. Incredible cameras. You can shoot in log, which is amazing. You can shoot in raw. It's all within the camera app as well, so love that anyway. Potentially what you might need to go along with your laptop is your laptop trial, gaffer tape. You just never know when you're gonna need it. We have strapped so many microphones to random things on the, using this bad boy. I need to find all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> Stop. Next is the active SSD. This is the one that will potentially work on in the airport or on the plane, for example. This is the extreme SSD, two terabytes. By SanDisk. They're so tiny that we can take all of them and if a client gets in touch with us as an emergency last minute thing, we can still do it on our, on our travels. And it means that if we ever get stuck with a flight cancellation or a delay or anything like that, we have something to be doing and working on um, if the unexpected happens, which seems to happen more and more these days. Next up, we've got this anchor little bad boy. SD card reader, micro SD, two USB-Cs again, so you don't actually lose any USB-Cs with this, and two, two USBs. So that is the perfect tiny little travel companion. And the HDMI you forgot on the top. Oh, I always forget there's a HDMI on the top. One of my favorite accessories actually for the Mac. It is a bit slower than a pro card reader, for example. First, 
tip from our secret ops, secret, not secret, special, special ops series. If we happen to be going on a big project where we know there's going to be large file sizes, large volumes of data, we take this SD card reader, really fast transfer. You can offload two SDs at a time. It's from Angelbird and we'll link to it in the description. Everything will be linked in the description below. So feel free to use those. In here, we also have a little notebook um, just for notes. Okay, and that is the front pocket. That's not too bad. Let's dive into the camera part. Bosh. Oh, I'm giving you that tasty B camera right here. On top is the Rode Wireless Go 2s. We found that these are great for when you're vlogging around a city. Also, we've tried the DJI ones and I think the DJI ones might be better. Just marginally, I think they take the cake, but they're very comparable. But the DJI ones, I think the interface is just a little bit better. They're a little, tiny bit smaller, they're a bit just, easier to use. They're just newer. Yeah, true, true. So maybe when they come up with the Go 3. Oh, the Go 3 should be. Pop in. Let's go with the drone of choice, the Mavic Mini 3. What a beast this boy is. We take the drone itself, we take the controller. Is it the Pro Controller or something like that, or the... I don't know, anyway. And obviously, the Mavic Mini 3 is just so small for fitting into this type of setup. Quick bit of advice here about why, for a travel setup, we go with the um, monitor. We actually find that in the practical side of it, it's just so much easier than having to set up your phone with it, plug it in. In terms of flying, it's... Go and watch our Mavic Mini 3 video because this is not what this video is about. But anyway, great drone. And also in there, packaged in there, three batteries. And also this is a charging unit as well. So that is very handy when you're, when you're traveling. It uh, can be used as a power bank when the batteries are full. Wicked. Would it be enough to charge a laptop from the USB-C? Probably, yeah. <gasps> Quick thing though, we don't have a Mavic Mini 3 Pro video where we talk about these things. Yes, we do. Where? Did DJI fuck up with this one? But that's just a showreel, isn't it? No. Chef's kiss. I love the controller. That's actually a purchase I would always recommend making because I found that it just reduces that sort of barrier for entry. Mm. Check that out. I might have to check that out. <laughs> Can you leave us the link in the comments, please, in the description? We have the Peter McKinnon nomadic memory card holder. One quick little handy tip about this is at the back, you've got the little zippy. This is where we keep all the cards that are full. And along with that, we have the Peter McKinnon Nomatic battery holder. The battery contacts facing up if it's charged and the blank side without the contacts facing up if it's dead. Okay, on top of the camera, which we'll get to in a second, is the Rode Video Mic Pro, Pro Plus. Plus. <laughs> Always struggle with that one. It is a little bit nude right now, but we'll get to the hidden spot where I place this in a minute. This is the best microphone we've ever used. The lens of choice is not this lens. Because the other one's on here. Here. We take the Sony a7 IV um, because that is the optimal single body for doing both photo and video. And I would always recommend if you've got a small like camera bag to have a hybrid. Absolutely, yeah. As far as hybrid bodies go, I think this is up there with the best on the market. You know, we don't want to start any arguments about systems, but um, Bob on. And then the lens of choice is the Sigma Art 24-70 f2.8, which is the perfect hybrid lens. I don't think I've actually ever swapped it off once it's on there. It's absolute fire. I've now shot two weddings with it as well. And as far as like from a photography perspective, you are getting pretty much the sharpness and the sort of look of a prime in a 24-70s, so a very versatile lens. Amazing for travel, for getting all of those B-roll shots, all the A-roll. Nice roll. We also take the 1635, which is on this body right here, the G Master. Again, before we had this lens, that never came off. So we take these two setups and sometimes we might swap the drone for like the 7200, for example. Yeah, again, this is a special ops situation, depends on what we need. Uh, the 7200 is more for sports, wildlife, anything like that, more specialist. Oh, the 1635 is the perfect vlogging lens. So if you're a vlogger, YouTuber, this bad boy won't let you down. But if you do want a one lens setup, I would recommend the 2470. So this is 16 mil right now. 
This is 24. Oh, that's all right. See? Yeah, but if I've If you got... want a one-camera setup, and especially if you're a single person, 2470 is the way to go. I would, I would argue for it. I, I agree, yeah. Mm. Um, you know. So that is the bottom of the bag, which is a lot of stuff, but it actually doesn't look that bad now. So all of your stuff is protected at the same time as actually being packed very well. The cam boys just realised they can do a bit of vlogging. <laughs> yeah. This is an, our favourite new addition to the kit, and it's the Xi'un Puri Bar. Puri Bar. This is a disinfectant machine. I don't want disinfecting. Stop. Stop. This is an amazing little tool for when you are traveling, especially because at any moment you could be attacked by some cow manure. But I think they both just drove through fecal matter. There is a chance you get poo all over your equipment, <laughs> hands, phone, everything. It's gone in my eye. It's everywhere. Oh. That's a completely unrelated story, but if you want to watch that, uh, link in the cards and in the description from our Mathera <laughs> adventures. You can select a setting for like different sizes, so 20 litre would be perfect for this camera bag, and you just lock it in there and it's disinfected. This is a travel cube, it's called the iBlock Cube, it was quite cheap on Amazon, and the best thing, it's got a USB-C. It has four USB-As. Next speaker like in the hotel when you're getting ready in an early morning situation that you really don't want to be awake yet. You need one, and yeah. this is a really cool small one. JBL is also got a little carabiner that you can clip it to the top of your bag like so. Top tip, if you're filming anything with like talent, if you're doing a couple's photo shoot, which is one of my favorites, clip this to the outside of your bag, have some tunes going, get people in Biden. the flow, you know. The Rode Video Mic Pro Plus Dead Cat. It's just straight up facts. No matter how much you may want to not take this because it's quite big, you just have to. We have got the Xi'un 5-Ray M40 light. This is just a cold and a warm light, so it's not an RGB. The best thing about it is that it's got a built-in stand. I didn't mention the aperture. Where did the aperture go? Oh my God, it's hidden. Boom. This is the Aperture MC RGB light, just in case we need one of those with a diffuser for face stuff. Continuing on to the top compartment. Headphones. These are not the best video editing headphones by any means. However, they fold and they don't need to be charged. RGB tube. Again, great for us for setting up A-roll sequences. This is the Nanlite Pavo tube. These three lights are enough for us to be able to light ourselves in an A-roll sequence. Uh, to light some b-roll uh, elements or to use for like creative photo shoot setups. Super versatile, very small, all battery powered, beautiful. This is our phone tripod. We always carry this with us. The phone is super useful to have as like a BTS camera. If we're doing anything, we'll Reels, stick it on. For shorts, TikTok. All that good You're going to need it like now, especially in that market of very short form content. Okay, next we've got the PM Nomatic filter case. I think we could get a smaller one, a smaller filter case. If anyone has like a small filter case, please recommend it to us. A little organized travel pouch for all the cables and stuff that we're not going to tell you about. USB-Cs, USB-As, uh, iPhone chargers. You know, you the, know drill. the drill. And the final item in this bag, because there is another one hidden do, 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 somewhere. Do, 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 do. The Polaroid Go. And it is my new favorite addition to the kit. Look how small it is. Tiny form factor, but the legit analog experience, the memories tangible in the moment, it's really nice. Yeah, it makes so them nice. travel photos very memorable because quite, quite often we'll take a shit ton of photos on our phones and then we'll never look at them again because there's so many. So it dilutes the meaning of of the photos whereas this you might take three four because it's quite expensive to buy the yeah. film it does again have a carabiner so it's another one of those things that we can clip on to the outside of the backpack if we're running out of space that's another airline hack they normally don't care about things that are hanging to attached to the outside of your backpack even if they do take the bag significantly out of the size requirements 
Even the tripod, they don't care. They just don't care. Don't care. That is it for the camera bag itself, but I have an additional hack for you. I'm going to highly recommend an additional personal bag because again, if it's small enough, they just don't care. Don't care. This is the optimal size for capacity versus being stealthy. And what we've got in here is the stuff that you want to access on the plane. Xiaomi, Xiaomi buds. buds, which are amazing for noise cancelling. This is the 360 go to. It's got tri little tri mini tripod legs. You magnet magnetic ties. And there you go, you've got a lovely hands-free POV setup. We've got tissues, pen, this little friendly creature. I like to take him everywhere because he makes me happy. Lighter. It's just cool. Lip gloss, my little wallet, passports. So depending on what we're doing, we will swap out some of these items or potentially add to them because there's still a little bit of space in there, you know. We haven't packed it like that's like 85% capacity, maybe yeah, 90. Yeah. Walkie talkies. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Hit the bell on your way out. That's a 10 4. <laughs> These would have come in so much use on our Matara trip with Xion. Yes, that time Sal was sitting in the boot of a car filming while Casper was driving that vehicle in reverse at full speed. They couldn't communicate. I was driving a vintage car, which was making a hell of a racket, so we couldn't communicate. So we got walkie talkies. 120 watt bad boy for charging the Xiaomi very fast. This has been great for our short film productions because I think it charges in 17 minutes to full. Yeah, it's a super, super rapid USB-A charger. This is a waterproof case for your phone. It's got a Bluetooth handle so you can activate those buttons. Perfect. This is the Xion Crane M3 and we take this if we want to pad out our mobile filmmaking setup. This is the best, most robust, most reliable gimbal we've used so far for smartphone filmmaking. Especially if you're adding those additional stuff like a filter, um, microphone, whatever. Exactly, so the extra weight. But the good thing about this is it will actually take a small mirrorless setup as well. So for example, an a7 IV and a small 50mm or one of the pancake lenses or you know one of the small primes, it will take that and then you've got a really handy little gimbal setup for shooting stealthy or just lightweight. Oh, the sun's come out. This is if you're going anywhere quite outdoorsy, somewhere for you to put your camera bag. On the sand and stuff like that, there's sand in there, so I've just got sand everywhere. <laughs> anyway, it's a mat that you can put down on the beach, in the forest, on grass. This is the cheapest thing on the planet, but you'll actually love it when it comes in use and this is just a basically a carrier bag that goes on your camera and protects your lens. This is our minimal setup. Let me just do some beat down for you this minimal setup. But this but this is so that you can get away with not paying anything additional and protecting your gear with you on the plane. Yes. That's as low as I can go. If that I go any lower <coughs> If you want to request anything to be in our next video, we'll do that for you. Thank you for spending some time with us. Thank you for um, watching. Hope you think Beacon Boy did a good job. I've got a few shots here and there. Love so. you. Bye.